Hi guys and gals on YouTube land. It's Miss Beverly here with the Quest for Your Newbies. Um, coming to you uh, to make a new video. Uh, I had a request to make more videos and um, figured what the heck I'll do it. So um, I decided to um, do a video really just kind of talking about who are us equestrian newbies? Who are we? Who are these weird people? Um, and uh, just kind of go over that a little bit um, since uh, this is kind of a new channel for me. So uh, I am Beverly. I am mom. I'm grandma. I am one of four of uh, equestrian newbies. And um, I, um, I'm not really equestrian newbie per se. Although some aspects are kind of do make me a newbie, so <laughs> you know, I think we all kind of are newbies when it comes to horses. But um, but uh, depending on who you talk to in my family, um, I first was riding on a horse between three and five, and um, and my uh, uncle Sam had cutting horses, and I can remember that from like my earliest memories. Um, so, uh, I took riding lessons, um, from about 10 to 12-ish. I learned how to ride English and jumping. I absolutely loved it. I've always ridden, uh, really in English. Um, it wasn't until here later in life that I wanted to try to learn how to ride Western and have really, like, put forth that effort in buying Western horses and, you know, really making it happen um but um yeah so uh i had a horse uh, i purchased at about 25 uh or when i was 25 um he was uh, a 20 year old uh, schooling like thoroughbred named flea uh yeah flea was under full board though and uh, for those of you that, you know, maybe board your horses, you, you know that full board is pretty much I just showed up and ride. You know, show up and ride. Maybe groom a little, but someone else is doing all the work, the cleaning, the da-da-da, on full board. Uh, so I had him for a few years uh, until I got pregnant with my second daughter and uh, kind of had to make a hard decision, you know, um, to let him go. Uh, you know, expense and all that, you know, kind of life. It is what it is. Um, and then we just didn't recently have the ability to get a horse again until now, um, or just recently be had the ability. Um, really over the years, um, it just wasn't, or it just we didn't seem feasible uh, while I was raising children. Um, so yeah, so that's me. Um, the, the second part, uh, of equestrian newbies, uh, probably be Caden. Caden is my uh, 14 year old son. Caden uh, has Down syndrome. Caden uh, has really never been on a horse uh, other than maybe the pony rides at the fair. Um, he's still not too sure what to think about the horses, although he's asking more and more to ride. Um, he's not ready yet for reining. Um, you know, he's pretty much still just being ponied around. Uh, although I will let him hold the reins and kind of get that feeling in his hands to know what the process would be uh, for, you know, actually doing it on his own. Um, but it will be an incredibly slow process. Um, but yes, he's, he's starting to get more used to it. Um, and uh, one of the reasons for getting the horses was actually uh, for him to ride, to be able to uh, find that balance and stability uh, in, in the seat, you know, in the saddle. Um, and maybe that would even help him in other areas of like walking and running and hopping and, you know, normal uh, activities like that as well. Um, children with Down, uh, Down Syndrome tend to have very low tone and, um, and some of those movements and things are, are, are difficult for kids with Downs. So, um, you know, that was one of the big reasons why I wanted these horses to be well broke um, 
was to feel like my son and my grandson would be safe around him. Uh, but um, yeah, so uh, you know, Caden is, is coming around to riding, you know, more and more, and he's starting to go out and pet the horses on his own, and do, you know, do his kind of his own thing um, with the horses. So you know, yeah. So so there's number two. So then we have my grandson, uh, Jonah, and Jonah is two. Uh, he's the third part of Equestrian Movies. Uh, he's been in videos. You've seen him. Uh, he um, is not scared at all of horses. He's not scared at all of being on a horse. Uh, most of the time I have to make him hold on. He wants to hee-haw, you know. Um, he has no fear. Uh, which is a little nerve-wracking, actually, because you, you get a little nervous when he's around him. And, you know, horses are kind of, I mean, they're very careful. They don't want to step on you, but you know what? I mean, hey. They are, they're fight or flight people, so, <laughs> hey, if you're in the way of them getting out of the, you know, way of something, you know, you better just watch out. So, I do worry about that with Jonah, but I don't want him to be scared of horses, and so that was the reason right. for a kind of an early, um, like, presentation to him at this young age, uh, year and a half, getting him on the back of a horse, bareback, in a saddle. He's, he's matter of fact, he's got his own saddle. He's, it's like an 11 and a half. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's really cute little western saddle but um, uh, you know um, let's see where it takes him you know uh, Jim Connor whether he wants to rope and whether he wants to I don't know wh wherever it takes him would be, be fine with me um, the fourth member of Equestrian Newbies is my daughter Brie Brie is 24 and the mom of Jonah um, we are all part of Equestrian Newbies out here in um, California, and uh, Bruchet, um was introduced to horses fairly, fairly young. Um, we went for riding lessons as a family when she was somewhere around maybe nine uh, or so. Uh, she learned how to ride Western, uh, and my older daughter. Uh, and, um, but not really exposed a whole lot after that. Um, I see now that she's older, that she's, uh, has confidence issues in the saddle and is a little, uh, a little frightened, um, even though she doesn't want to say so, uh, of riding and always, always trying to find an excuse not to ride. Oh, you know, he seems like he's tripping or oh, the saddle, you know, whatever. Um, but... I feel like it's a confidence thing and that she will improve with that uh, over time and, and more hours in the saddle. Uh, our trainer gets her in the saddle, makes her do it, um, and I think that's really important. Uh, I am, however, the primary rider of both of these horses. Uh, I will ride every single day, uh, weather permitting. I mean, I'm, I'm too old that I don't really feel like riding in the rain anymore. But, but, uh, but other than that, if it's not raining, you know, I'll just throw a halter and lead on and, you know, ride them around bareback for a few minutes, uh, just so they get used to that repetition that somebody's always riding, somebody's always on them, um, you know, constantly working on reining and turning and, you know, go where I told you kind of yeah, stuff, yeah. um, because I feel like the more exposure, the more time in the saddle, the more time spent with them, the uh, the better they'll be, the better they'll become, uh, and the better trained horses they'll become. So, so I am still the end all be all. Uh, I purchase all the tech. I am the one that's you know out riding, riding them on the street, uh, riding them around the property. Um, you know, doing my best to uh, tune them up. Um, with the help of our trainer and uh, yeah, and videos, you know, I'm watching videos just like you guys too, um, and that's part of why I'm making a video as well, you know, share the challenges that you know we're going through and uh, on our journey with horses and um, and things that you know I'm experiencing and so forth that may be able to help someone else.
Uh, and, you know, I mean, so what qualifies me for that? <laughs> well, nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know, trial and error. Uh, I, I think in the equestrian community, you know, uh, equestrians are incredibly hard on each other, incredibly critical of each other. Um, and, you know, that's kind of unfortunate, honestly. Um, because that's really, uh, you know, feeling comfortable presenting yourself out there um, and sharing what you've gone through and you're going through and are dealing with or ways that we grow and learn. Um, and so, uh, you know, this was kind of too bad. Um, I, I'm always, you know, a little shocked by that. Um, but I, you know, this is not my first YouTube channel. This is actually my second YouTube channel, and I've got another one that I've got a few thousand subscribers on. And um, on this one, uh, this is only horse-based, but uh, but new. Um, and I'm hoping to be able to, you know, present information, share uh, experiences, and get information back as well uh, to continue learning and growing through this, you know, horse experience and journey. So, um, so yeah, so that's kind of who Equestrian Newbies is, um, and uh, kind of why we're on here, uh, sharing with you guys. So, um, yeah, tell me about yourself below, uh, and uh, what you're doing with your horses. Um, I'm definitely interested, and thank you for taking time out of your day to watch uh, me. And uh, until the next one, have a great one. Bye-bye.